today. So number three, fix the foundation. Shabby tools, that is a highly technical marketing term that I hope you guys were able to understand. Shabby tools. <laughs> Shabby tools sabotage your marketing investment in perpetuity. So, and you guys are as guilty of this as everybody else in the world, so is not pertaining to you, but I can't, at least 10 people handed me their business card yesterday and at the same time said, well, don't really look at my website because it's, it needs, we're gonna redo it, right? <laughs> Uh, or you've got a brochure that you're doing and it, your, your numbers change, your websites change, or it's like you have really old photos, but when you hand it out, you excuse it. Oh, these photos are really old, I'm sorry about that. Well, you're not doing your property or your business justice if you're continuing to market using tools that you feel like you need to excuse because they're not upholding what you're supposed to be doing. And so if you only have a limited budget every year to spend on marketing, a portion of it should go toward making sure that your tools are always in great shape. New photos every year, making sure that your website is fresh, making sure that you're updating your Facebook page on a regular basis. These are all marketing tools that are the basis, the whole cornerstone behind everything you're sharing with the outside world. And so that stuff's gotta be awesome because it's your virtual front door, right? And if you don't do that, then every dollar you spend sending people to the website that you have just admitted sucks, is not going to, I, am I allowed to say sucks here? I've certainly said it a lot. Are you guys okay with that? You're Newfoundlanders. I've heard a lot worse since I've been here <laughs> than that. Okay, so yeah, so if you're sending people to a website that sucks, then the dollar that you just spent to send them there is kind of wasted before you even let it go out the door. So here's some of the tips here. Oh, and here's some of the things that we see that are most often. Website, photography, video. Video sells your business so well. But everybody's like, video is super expensive. And video is expensive, but it doesn't have to be. Get yourself a GoPro. God, iPhones take great videos. You can sell your story using video without having to hire a huge videography company, but also hiring a huge videography company is a fantastic investment in tools as long as you're spending it wisely, you know, as part of that process. So staffing and copywriting, landing pages, signage, these are all things that are major parts of your toolbox that are sharing your story with the outside world and making visitors be able to find you and helping visitors love you before they even get to you. This is the pre-selling stuff, right? So you want those customers to be primed to love you the minute they walk in the door, that makes a sale close much faster.